Hey guys, just a real quick update um, for you tonight or this evening um, or whenever you're watching this tomorrow, um, next week. Um, this weekend. I uh, went today for my sixth treatment and I had labs. Great. And you know, it's crazy with the day. Today was a grind. Um, it was, we, and I talked about that in my story, you know, this, the reality of choice in the midst of reality and what choice will you make and why do you make it? You know, this whole idea of fight like a freak, it, it's um, an ardent enthusiast. That does not mean that you are a syrupy, fake, bullcrap person. I watch my language. Um, it means that you are embracing the process that you're going through and you are choosing thoughts in the midst of that process that are positive and true, but you're also allowing thoughts and feelings to be true too. It, and it's just like, like I put in one of my stories, I mean, when they call my name to go back from my lab work, I was, you know, Steve and Carol, I was like, this is my appointment. Donna couldn't go today. She had, um, she wasn't able to be there. So I was there at that moment. And, and you just kind of feel it, you know, and I've said that before. It's just like this feeling. And what's crazy was in the middle of all of that, I just, uh, I was leaning over the banister at one point of down in the lobby and there was a lady there. So would you take a picture of me? Cause I was having all these thoughts and, um, just, and in the middle of it, I was finding more about myself, which I'm going to talk about in another video, but, and then this, this thing, I've said this before and it, it, it's crazy. And when I say this, it's just that the term I'm grateful, I'm not grateful that I have this, but grateful for um for who i'm becoming um, i think you guys want me to become and so it's pushing me forward and i'm hmm, to some really hard places that that, I, that i'm finding so that's why today was a grind it was just a little more sobering overall today for some reason and I think there's times like that. And what was great about it was I, you know, I, I'm around all these people that we, and all of us have that choice every day. Of, and all of them are going through stuff that is unique to them and difficult to them in so many, in different ways. What's difficult to me is not, you know, it's, it's different. But in the middle of it, we, you know, we have a choice. And so today, um, as I kind of moved through the day, I went to my labs, I went to my lab tech, had this, uh, Thanksgiving deal and the word thankful, grateful was there and I'm just like, wow. We talked about that. She was from Louisiana. We talked about that. So that was first kind of pop, you know, pep up. And then I went to my doctor's point with Dr. Mazel and, and Alicia. Alicia's always positive. And Dr. Mazel is too. And he uh, reported my labs and my labs are improving still. And so we're praying that um, and believing and working toward getting those in proteins to zero. I uh, finished up my second week or my second cycle, six weeks. So I have at least two to three more cycles um, just to get me to zero, to get me to a place where I am ready for the stem cell transplant. I think that was part of the sobering thing was that I think the, the stem cell transplant is getting more real at this point because it's getting closer. And um, if you want to research it, it's, it's an interesting read just to see how it works, um, how much it costs. <laughs> um, talking about talking to insurance about that um just the gravity of it um and everything that surrounds it it's it's a big deal and um so we talked about that it looks like probably um mid to late november early december um is when we'll start the process and so i shared that with the process looks like in the last video so um it's uh, we did check into MD Anderson and we called, I called and I talked and went through the process. They don't take our insurance. Interesting tidbit of information. 
uh, to just go for an appointment there, I have to put a deposit of $27,000 down. So, um, you know, that may be God saying, stay where you are. So we're, you know, looking into that because then that, that's just the beginning. Then that doesn't end, that didn't even get close. I can't imagine what the stem cell transplant would cost. I just can't even fathom it. I mean, so anyway, just looking into that as well. So, um, that's kind of where that treatment update is. Um, I mean, it's going well. Uh, I mean, the holistic doctor told me I should do what I'm doing. The main doctor, my medical doctor told me I should do what I'm doing. And so diet and everything, I've lost a lot of weight, but it's not due to so much of the cancer as much as it is just to the change in my diet. And so watching that, um, blood, blood, my blood pressure is, is pretty stable in the same area and it's good. Um, so a lot of good things, y'all, in the middle of all this. And so um, I am I'm grateful um, for that thankful for the process i'm 51 days in and um you know and i've recovery day what 38 i think it is or something like that so um from when the treatment started is that right six yeah that's right so um anyway that's kind of that i'm um just uh really uh thankful for you guys for your prayers for, for the text message i mean today that was it i mean the other part of it, you know, my doctor's office, I got to see Molly and, and Lauren did great. My nurse did great today. And Molly was at working in a different area, but she knew I was there. And so she came around and saw me and we talked for quite a few minutes and, and uh, she's great. Awesome. Um, just so encouraging and just a good person. And so, um, enjoyed that. So that was a pop, you know, step. And then in the middle of that, I get that text from Meg, Megan and at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. And Dawson texted me and Braden called and checked in. Jordan's always been faithful to check in and just family. Of course, Donna's been there every step of the way. Y'all pray for Donna. This is, you know, this is hard on her. This is a lot, you know. And like I've said over and over and over again, life just continues to move forward. And um, it doesn't stop, you know. So we, we still have to deal with, you know, all that. Um, in the middle of it as anybody that's been through anything like this knows it changes so much so quickly um, I will be doing a video in the morning trying to get it up in the morning if I can um, or tomorrow at some point and, and it's gonna be talking about glass houses and authentic faith and life lessons that dig deep into the soul and um, man I just you know want to be true to who I am you know and I want to share this message of hope and um you know so i'm working on some i'm writing some stuff and doing some things like that like i've shared and so um just of the journey and so that's where things sit tonight so i wanted to share that with you and um i'm gonna go meet a couple for a wedding planning session now but um love you guys so thankful and in my story, I put some messages I got from people, give me the thumbs up and just text I get from people that are consistent and messages and random stuff of just people that I hadn't seen in years that were just so encouraging. And that right there is what gets you through and doesn't that speak volumes of what it's all about. It's relationships and love and community. And I'm learning more about myself and there's so many things that I want to make right moving forward in some areas of my life and you know just time just taking advantage of what's in front of me you know so anyway love you guys so much thanks again for everything and um just getting a mustard seed necklace in the mail you know for our friend carlene and still praying for pam and uh, and, and gene and some other folks that have cancer too so Anyway, hope you guys have a great night and um, or a great day, great morning, whenever it is you read, we watch this. And um, I'll be posting that other video real soon. All right, talk to you later.